going you guys I'm back from my weekend at the camper and of course it's Monday so that means back to the grind you know the nine to five thing I'm out of work for the day it's about 2 45 in the afternoon and the skies are looking pretty pretty soggy I think we've got some weather coming in actually I know we've got weather coming in um, from what I understand we're pretty much going to get a flood Nothing on the scale of what they're experiencing in the southern United States, uh, thankfully. I mean, I can't imagine those type of flood conditions, but we are expected to get anywhere from two to four inches of rain tonight, and uh, potentially localized spots could see six inches of rain, which is, it's obviously coming down at a high rate of speed, you know, I'm talking about like, you know, in like a 20 hour period, so that's a lot of rain that's coming down too fast to soak into the ground at that point so um, I don't know what my photographic opportunities will be for that um, I hear that there's a potential for thunderstorms in some of this weather you know when and if it materializes who knows it just sounds like a lot of moisture um, so let's talk about the weekend you know what did I shoot this weekend well I got to do something that I love to do and I don't get to do it often enough and that's just hang out with other photographers and shoot. Um, a buddy of mine, Travis Stevens, swung up to the campground on uh, Saturday night. Uh, wanted me to take him to uh, the dog beach that I've been going to and that's the one with the wooden, um, the wooden pylons in the water, you know, uh, remnants of old docks that are on the beach. So he wanted to go shoot that location and also the radar dome that I was doing some night shots at, you know, a few weeks back. And uh, so he came up for that, you know, and during the day while I was waiting, you know, for Travis to come up that evening, um, I got a hold of another friend of mine, Jerry James, uh, who lives up in the region actually, he lives in Muskegon and asked him if he wanted to kind of come hang out and shoot with us as well and and he was totally game for it so it ended up being uh jerry travis and myself at those two locations and uh jerry is about this close to being an olympus guy uh, right now he's shooting sony mirrorless cameras he's got a couple of different bodies that he shoots with and um he had an em10 for a while and it it was the first gen EM10, so he was missing a few features that he really wanted, and um, he's holding out to get an EM5 Mark II really soon, I guess, from the sounds of it. So, about to have another Olympus brother in the fold here, but we had a great time shooting together at those two locations. Um, so, I'll share some of those photos with you guys right now. And aside from that, you know, it was pretty much just kind of. Uh, it was really wet Friday afternoon. Um, I got up to the campground early in the day with my two kids. And uh, by about 6 o'clock or so, it started to rain. And it didn't stop raining until Saturday morning at about 9. So we we're looking at like 24 plus hours of rain. Or not 24, sorry, like 15 hours of rain. No, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. About 15 hours of rain, 16 hours of rain. Um... So I thought the weekend was going to be a bust, you know, I didn't think it was going to shape up, but it turned out to be all right, you know, and I got to go do some birding, uh, nothing spectacular as far as birding goes, um, I mean, meaning that I didn't see anything I haven't seen before, but I did get a couple of good shots of a, uh, of a female ruby-throated hummingbird, which I'll show you here, and another shot of, um, I'll have to look it up, I'm not sure exactly which type of um, finch this is but uh he's got a grasshopper in his mouth so he was out getting some some lunch and i caught him in the middle of that and you can see that photo here uh, both of those shots were shot with of course the 300 millimeter f4 with the 1.4 teleconverter on it and using the uh the em1 body again that's just kind of the setup i use for birding em1 300 millimeter can't go wrong uh, ridiculously great results from that combo 
and that's about it you know I mean just nothing nothing extravagant you know I'll share a couple of photos at the end that I shot when I was out with Jerry and Travis and right now what am I doing well driving home and I'm on a different road than normal it's a road I've been down before but I think the last time I was down this road was probably February maybe maybe in January so it's been a while it's been a long time and uh, of course everything's gonna be completely different this time of year and I'm really I'm really kind of going this way because last week I was floored to find that little marshy swampy kind of area that had the cedar wax wings in it and um, that other mystery bird which I haven't taken the time to identify yet um, oh no wait I take that back I did is a gnat catcher or fly catcher gnat catcher olive sided fly catcher good lord I suck at this <laughs> so anyways um, I'll let you guys go if something interesting pops up along the drive you know what I'll do I'll bring you all out and uh, and share the, the photographic opportunity with you um, the skies are looking pretty pretty good I mean I might be able to get some nice landscape stuff if I can find a scene that has any interest you know for me um, so yeah that's it you know I'm just out exploring you know I don't don't have to worry about getting home too quick today I've got a little bit of time to kill so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go see if I can find something uh, adventurous to shoot you guys take care and I'll see you around bye okay so just really quickly here um, I stopped at this area um, on my way home and you can see it's just this swampy swamp I don't know no other way to put it it's pretty low water right now but out here to the left oh wow holy crap redhead woodpecker hold on guys set you down or not yeah, hold on, hold on. oh my gosh this is sweet where's the yeah, other is Okay, so there's a dead tree out here. Uh, three quarters of the way up at red-headed woodpecker. He's sticking his head in and out of the hole. Over here to the left, there's a log laying in the in the swamp water here that has uh, wood ducks. They look like juvenile wood ducks. They're pretty little. Um, not quite as colorful as a full-blown adult, although maybe it's just that uh, this time of year they're not as colorful because they're not mating. I don't know. I guess I got to research that. But man, this redhead woodpecker up here. Oh, I'm geeked on that. I'm hoping these pictures turned out all right. Hard to tell. I'm shooting from out of the car because I didn't want to stop in the middle of the road like I am. But man, I might just have to get out. Oh, he keeps sticking his head in and out of the hole. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, back to recording again. So, love it. Telling you what, man, I don't know. Maybe I just need to make sure I record every single day because maybe you're just bringing me luck. Um, Red-headed woodpecker. So, I haven't really gotten good shots of them before. I've tried, and uh, I'm thinking that with this combo today, you know, the 300 with the teleconverter, I think I might have had enough reach to get a decent shot. I'll have to crop in on it, but um, I'm excited. That was cool. I've been waiting. It's funny. I think I say that about every bird. I don't say that about every bird. I say it about a lot of birds. I've got several birds that are just kind of like, I really, really want good shots of them. That's one of them. Red-headed woodpecker, uh, belted kingfisher. I'm just naming birds I haven't shared with you yet that I shared good photos of with you yet so but um you know the indigo bunting which i haven't still gotten a good shot of one of those guys yet even though they're at the campground they're teasing me um yeah so i don't know it just seems like last couple of times i brought the camera along for a ride i got to take decent bird photos so maybe you guys need to come along for rides more often um, i'm gonna turn the camera off now uh just I guess I'll tell you what I was shooting like setup wise or uh, settings wise um, It's still light enough out although 
my shutter speeds did start to slow down a little bit but aperture priority it's just where I shoot you know if I wanted to um, adjust the uh, exposure compensation a little bit I, I think I lowered it to like a negative 0.3 or 0.5 um, the last several shots that I did of the woodpecker um, other than that you know because he was I don't know just I kind of like to underexpose a little bit with bird shots lately. I don't know, it just gives a certain look, I guess. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, really as simple as that, aperture priority. If if it had gotten a little darker than it is now, then I would have switched over to shutter priority. I have a button on, um, on the EM-1. One of the front buttons next to the lens mount is set up for birding. And I hit that, and it automatically throws me into shutter priority, 800th of a second. Um, auto ISO and continuous autofocus tracking. I might end up switching it up a little bit so that that my set doesn't have the continuous autofocus tracking because in all honesty the majority of the birding I like to do I prefer to photograph birds that are perched. I don't know just personal preference I guess. Um, so yeah I'm gonna turn the camera off again. I'm getting close to being home probably about five six miles away don't know that anything that exciting will happen in five or six miles but if it does i'll bring you back out uh thanks a lot you guys for tuning in i really appreciate it i appreciate all the comments uh ryan you keep me going dude um really motivational <laughs> so i uh, hopefully you enjoyed the birds today and as always uh Thanks for subscribing. Spread the word. Let everybody know you know this bird nerd or photography nerd or Olympus nerd, whatever. I'm kind of goofy. Just, uh, I need to get that subscriber count higher. The higher it goes, I think the more likely I am to do a little bit more of this. Um, all right. Tune in, you guys, out. See ya.